Hey, what's up, guys? We're playing some more Flash games. Today, we're playing Boxhead. Um, one of my absolute favorite shooting Flash zombie games as a kid. Definitely like, top three Flash games of all time for me. I, I don't There's something about the movement that I just love. But anyway, we're just going to go to single player. Let's use uh, Bind. And we'll just do Big Boxy here. Um, so, if you guys have, are 20, 25 to 30, around that age, and you've played Flash games before... Um, then you know this game probably, um, you run around and you shoot zombies. Let me actually turn down the volume on that a little bit. I think you guys, I might blow out your eardrums. So there are rounds, you try to get points, you unlock different guns, they become better and better. And yeah, it's just a classic flash game. Definitely one of my favorites. It's one of those that it, you just, well, at least for me, that I just came back to very often because there was just something slightly satisfying about it, especially like the shooting. And you guys will probably know more what I mean when we get into the later rounds, when we start like upgrading our shotguns and our guns and they end up like doing like crazy amount of damage and there's a crazy amount of zombies on screen. It's, it's something that's just super satisfying and a lot of the bombs and the barrels are really fun to use. And yeah, it's just one of those goaded flash games that's not too complicated it's only it's literally only a few buttons so you pick up these red boxes for any form of ammo those are barrels that just come like automatically on the screen um, and then there's these big devil looking things that throw fireballs at you that hurt quite a bit um, but yeah that's what we do and then we slowly get upgrades and what we'll do in this in this video is I'm just gonna try to get as far as I can now my usual strategy is to have fun and I end up dying quite early early just for this episode or this video i'm gonna try to actually be good at the game so i can survive a little bit to actually give you guys something to see you know but yeah that's what we'll try to do right now the uzi's pretty good the definitely i think the shotgun's like one of my favorite guns i don't think it's any good yet but we'll use it a little bit yeah the shotgun eventually becomes like an auto shoddy which is like super strong but we're also going to get bombs in a little while here. So we got barrels. So now, see, we can place our own barrels. But here's the deal. I tend to use the barrels quite a bit because I think they're a lot of fun. And you could, like, place them around the zombies and blow them up. But you have to be extremely careful because if one of those red devil thing comes around and shoots a fireball at the barrel and you're near it, you're going to die. So honestly, I'm telling you, when I played a kid, maybe the two, three hundred runs that I've ever had, I think probably out of the 200, around 180 of them, I've died because of my own barrel. Because I just get overzealous and I want to put barrels everywhere and I end up dying. So that's what I'm going to try to avoid this time around. I'm going to try to die through natural means and not by way of blowing myself up, which is the usual culprit. So shotgun is still a single pump action. I want it to become like an auto shotty because then it gets real fun. See, there's those. Yeah, so really these red thingies are the bane of this game because if you have a barrel near you, they're going to blow up the barrel. And then all of a sudden, you have problems. All right, let's bring out the Uzi again. I think the Uzi is right now the best thing to use. Just because it kills a lot of things very fast. Really, barrels are probably the best right here. If I just like, where's the barrel at? Hello? There you go. I just place a couple barrels in this area. I can kill most of these very quickly. Yeah, see, just like that. So barrels right now are, are a good strat, but again, beware of the barrels. They're a little scary. What you can also do, and kind of like mess with people or mess with the zombies, is you could actually block off the front gear with bombs but once again the red people come out of that entrance and they see you what are they gonna do they're gonna throw a fireball at you and they're gonna explode those barrels and if you're just that unlucky and are standing near it you're dead so really this game is not even against you versus the zombies it's actually you against yourself you and like how cool you want to kill zombies but you know, you're, you're risking your life to do it. So, that's kind of my deal. Let's see, how's our shotgun? 
Okay, so our shotgun's become a little bit of an auto shotty now. I can kind of hold it down and... Oh, it's a little faster. Okay, we got grenades. Another one of the goaded weapons. I love these grenades. And right now they're just single boot, but soon they'll become like cluster grenades. And depending on how f how far you hold down space, you throw them. These right now I'm holding space down and it goes, whoo! Or I can just kind of tap it and it just kind of falls right in front of me. Grenades are a lot harder to die from. So, again, anything in this game is friendly fire. Um, I guess I can turn the friendly fire off. But anything in this game that explodes also damages me. So if I accidentally step in the way of the grenade, I also die along with it. The thing is, the grenades are a little harder to die from. Because with the barrels, again, it's these red guys that shoot them. But with the grenades, as long as I don't go back near them, I'm fine. Which usually isn't that hard to do. As long as I'm not kind of dumb. Which I never claimed to not be. But I'm sure we'll be fine. Alright, did we get the next gun yet? No, I don't think we have. Still have the barrels. Oh, we, we ran out of the... Is it the grenades? Let's throw a couple more here. Boonk, 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 boonk. Try to blow up that red guy. A lot of grenades. You can also shoot sideways. I often forget that I can do that. Another thing with these red guys is they tend to throw the fireballs very, very quickly. And he can actually chain you into those fireballs. So you have to be careful that you don't accidentally get chained. Ooh, six. The fake walls. These are cool, too. Eventually, we'll be able to place a lot of these walls down. And you can, like, I don't know, just create walls. Now, they can be broken. If you, if you shoot at them, they actually do break. And the guys with the fireballs can also break them. Um, so you, they're not, like, infinite walls or anything, but... Ooh, see, the grenade just got the cluster, which is real good. Uzi's really good on the red guys, because you kind of just kill them in one shot. You just, like, you back them up just like that, and you just... Brah. Yeah, that's easy to do. Let's see, shotgun. Okay, the shotgun's finally got its, like, long cluster shots. And then we got barrels. We got 40 of them. Grenades, 20. Ooh, the grenades have got the cluster, right? So let's see, how many do they break into part two? Yeah, they break into the four. This is when the nades become real good, because they tend to do a whole lot of damage very, very quickly to groups of zombies. Right here, so we'll just throw a couple. Bang, bang. Yeah, see, they're donezo. Yeah. And then there's there's a couple more weapons to unlock, but we'll get them soon enough. Let's just throw a couple of grenades in there. Get out, and then run. Hopefully not step on top of them here. Couple more. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, really, the only thing dangerous with these bombs is, like, see if I'm throwing, and then I accidentally throw one behind me or in front of me. I need to make sure that I don't step in its way. Right, we can kind of lob some a little farther away here. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, the nades are kind of nuts, to be honest. Let's see. Did we, get, did we get a new one? Mines? Yes, these mines. These mines are cool, too. These are another explosive that... Um, I can accidentally kill myself with, but it's a little harder to kill myself with these because if I place the mine, and as long as I keep walking, likely I won't die. The only problem with the mines is they're not, like, super powerful. They, t they tend to kill one or two zombies, and that's kind of about it. So, they're not, they're not super powerful, but I do like to just kind of run around and place them, and zombies will eventually walk on top of them. Right, let's throw some more nades again. These nades are goaded just throw these nades and you'll be fine they just absolutely clear out entire sections of zombies as long as as long as you don't walk into them that is let's keep placing some mines yeah it's a good idea to just place mines everywhere you go it's a good strat Ooh, gotta make sure i don't walk into that Mines are fun too. Again, not super powerful, but fun to play with nonetheless. As long as I don't run into them right when something blows up. Let's get our grenades out. Grenades are fun. Boom, boom. Oh, that guy's dead. They tend to also shake the screen a lot. So you kind of have to be careful that you're not 
accidentally in the middle of nowhere with bombs going off when the sh screen shakes. <gasps> Alright, the grenade's got the big bang, so I think they just do more damage, right? That's what I'm assuming here. Ooh. Oh yeah, bud. Nades are definitely... They disturb the screen real good. Now we can throw these... Si Ooh, I am in the middle of a bunch of grenades. I should probably not do that. See, that guy died. That guy died, the chances of me living are not that high. Alright, let's see. Did we get mines? Ooh, we got rockets. Okay. This is another super strong gun. Once again, just you gotta be careful that the explosion will also kill me. So I have to watch out and not do anything too dumb here. Let's see, we got the mines. Okay, the walls. Shotgun. Ooh, oh, yeah, okay. This is when the shotgun gets fun right here. Because you can just absolutely go crazy with it. We still gotta watch out for these guys. To do okay, now the mines themselves actually drop that cluster of bombs, which is pretty interesting. Nice. Let's see, did we receive rockets? Okay, we haven't gotten the next gun. I think the next gun is the last gun, if I'm not wrong. I don't know if there's a 10. And I know what the... Oh, see, I almost just killed myself there. Again, actually, I probably should have died there. I got extremely lucky that I didn't. And that would have been just another classic example of you usually die from your own bombs. It's really the case with this game. really nothing you can do about it either oh i'm in trouble i'm in trouble i'm in trouble see right there i almost died from my own grenade again and i'm going to grab the shotgun we didn't pave our way through here so this is around the area where i need to start being more careful uh most of most of the bomb attacks tend to have cl the cluster version and these cluster versions can do some very funny things if you're not paying attention charge pack do I just... Oh. This seems boring. You just place it and then it goes boom. Well, maybe it'll maybe it'll upgrade later to be something real cool. That's the one I actually don't remember. Maybe I don't remember it because I remember it, I remember it as being so lame. Let's see who's texting me. Oh, the zombies can come at me. Ooh, oops. Ooh, I almost got myself... I actually did not mean to place that barrel. I almost got myself killed on that. Barrels. What do we got? Grenades? Yeah, I'll use some grenades here. Oop, I almost grenaded myself again. This isn't much of a surprise here. Alright, how far will we be able to get? Like I said, the last time I played this was a little while ago. I never remember making it that far, so partly because of what you see now. Let's see, rockets, charges. We, we still don't have the last gun. So hopefully we can get, grab that soon. The last one's pretty cool, I think. I'm not going to say it just for spoilers, but big red. Definitely think the shotgun's one of my favorites, so it just tends to run out of ammo real quick sometimes. What do we got? Walls, grenades. Let's throw a couple grenades. Grenades, 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 grenades. Ooh, let's get out of there. Um, yeah, if I if I really wanted to be careful, I would really stick to just my shotgun. Because the shotgun's about the only thing I can't kill myself with. It also tends to run out of ammo, so. Ooh, but I did not mean to place that down. Well, we can use that as an explosive, why not? Maybe a little overkill for like two zombies, but. Oh well. Still don't have the last gun. Okay, interesting. Let's just keep throwing grenades at this entrance over here. And just not give them a chance to walk out. That seems proper to me. 
Oh, I accidentally threw a grenade to my left. You gotta watch out for that one. Bunk, 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 bunk. Let's get my. Do I have my shotgun? Do I not have my. Do I not have any ammo for the shotgun? Kind of in a little bit of trouble. I kind of just walked through these guys though. Picked up shotgun. Okay, great. Try to keep the shotgun ammo nice and stocked, huh? Shotgun already. Ooh, barrel. Okay, we picked up. Let's see. Still don't have the last gun, huh? I'll try to use the rocket a little bit, but once again, gotta. I stay vigilant here. Oops, I see that and I almost kill myself. So, yep. Let's make sure we don't get hit by those fireballs. If we do, we'll kind of get juggled and then it's kind of GG's from there, to be honest. Let's pick up some shotgun ammo, huh? Thank you. in a slightly dangerous situation there. Bunk, bunk. Let's see, do I have the last gun? Railgun, yeah, that's the one I'm looking for. Alright, so this is the last gun, I think, and I think this one just shoots through a lot of people, right? That's this whole deal, maybe does a good bit of damage. The railgun is definitely one that I want to use if I don't getting if I don't feel like getting myself blown up that's for sure Oop! I threw a bomb in the wrong direction all right let me get my shotgun out here Just make my way a hole to get out before I get demolished yeah that's that's kind of the a really good way to use a shotgun just kind of walk sideways and just shoot like this you tend to hit, you tend to miss a lot of shots, but you tend to clear out the zombies real quick in that in this manner. And while that happens, I gotta check a school email here. We're doing pretty good. Come on, <laughs> where's the shotgun ammo? There we go. Yeah, I picked up how many red boxes without my shotgun ammo? Yeah, the shotgun at this stage is kind of busted. You just you just shoot so many so fast in such a wide area. Ooh, I got a little too close for that guy. I like him. Right, let's see the rail gun. I think we got a few more things of ammo. The rail gun. Ooh, that's not. Very strong now, is it? Alright, let's just make a room to walk through here. <laughs> yeah. I'm also choking because my. Right there. I got caught up in the fireball and he juggled me. Well, that's it. And it's the game, but it's one of those games that gets really, rep like, not repetitive, but it gets fun because it's so repetitive. So if we do that, I think we can also make options where, where we can turn off the devils. We can turn off collision and we can, where damage from barrels is still applicable. Barrels, okay, well I wonder, what about nades? And I can walk through them too. So I think in if we if we do it this way, I can almost just start blowing everything up off the get-go, you know?
Alright guys, ooh! Alright, I'm gonna end it there. Guys, thanks for watching.